Hey there, I'm going to show you how to make an 8 foot fence. Here we go. There it is. <coughs> First thing you're going to want to do, is dig a big hole. You can use steel or wood. If you do wood, you want to go 6x6. Six six. I don't know what steel is. but These are 12 foot posts sunken into the ground 42 inches then backfilled with crushed concrete the bottom rails are pressure treated lumber middle rails normal lumber and as you can see depending on how long your fence is you're going to need some transit levels or one transit level and a friend that's what I did I marked them all with little flags every hole then took a tractor through and dug out all the holes and then finished the holes up by hand drop posts in we put a lot of uh, rails up a lot of posts up and you're gonna want some serious equipment for that stuff we had a air hammer to drive in those nails we had a big old dolly to wheel these posts around we had them dropped by the pallet near where they would be erected and you got to do lots of little strings you know we set one at 12 inches above our bottom board and then we did another one up here and that tells you if you're plumb we also used a level on there to double check but the string does a pretty good job getting it plumb but when there's wind you need a level and on those super long ones you know string will sag three or four inches in the middle so you really need to set your four corners and then on a long stretch you got to do one in the middle somewhere in there and then you can run a string to that these here, these sides are 100 feet, these sides 210, the other ones over there is 220, but that's kind of what we got. As you can see, we had all these boards that we used to hold the post plumb so that we could stand them all up, get them all plumb and then put on our bottom board and kick them in or out until they were in the right spot. And these little boards helped as braces. You can put one, you know, inside like this and one on the side like that. And they, um, and we left them on for 24 hours while the concrete, crushed concrete was settling in and making the post. A little bit firmer as the water we use water too to fill these crush concrete with water that that does a trick big holes lots of concrete we had a trailer as you can see that's that's been really helpful because we can just go over to our concrete pile have a front loader load concrete in and then drive it to where we want to dump it and just shovel it in that's pretty much the bulk of it you know getting those corners set up we set all four corners first and we did this little trick with some other string where we ran from one corner to another or to the middle with string and then we could move the post in and out until we got the, the right placement for the holes so that we were hitting the holes without having to dig any holes out and that that was a big labor saver if you get your end post in the wrong spot then you'd get to dig every hole <laughs> so do those right lay out a string so you can see where it's going to hit the holes and then move them in or out and stuff and then cement them in then do your middle post using a transit level and then you'll have a good straight line 
and as you can see there's there's a little bit of a, a bend in it over here where it, the the earth starts out level and then it starts to angle down and that's just a minor imperfection in the fence but um, once we got over to these we just started going with the lay of the posts as opposed to the lay of the land and it came out pretty good um, there's some high spots and some low spots and so instead of digging you know you can see a high spot here but we really went from the 12 inches up on that end to 12 inches up in the middle and on that end and then the board just followed the string <coughs> which gave us a nice straight bottom board with gaps in some spots and low points in other spots and um, the way this is designed is it's got four rails one two three four that top one is at eight feet that bottom one is where the bottom of the sheet will go so eight feet from the top of the top rail to the bottom of the bottom rail and you can do steel posts across too if you want i chose wood for the simple reason that all you have to do once the post is in the ground is nail nail those boards on bang bang move to the next one bang bang and if you've got a steel post you get to get a clamp or maybe a two dollar clamp because they're big posts then drill it into the post put in a screw put two screws into your boards do it again this is a little bit faster <clears throat> and easier to construct and when you're doing 100 posts it adds up that's it